Okay, guys, I've, uh, let's quiet this down a little bit. I've been trying to, uh, what do they call it, export my files, and I keep getting, keep getting this failure. So I have three videos in the queue, um, one answering questions from the comments, uh, one talking about um, putting the uh, carriage on, more, more so the little hangers that hold the carriage down to the bedways, and then one installing the new nut and lead screw so I guess we can come over here and, and get a look at the new nut and there's the old the old nut lead screw uh, we had the apron off and we're working on the um, this feed, the Z feed, and uh, I used to be able to grab this thing and move it 70 thousandths. I can't budge it. So let's give a little power to, to the light. And uh, first, uh, let's activate the uh, Okay, now let's do the longitudinal feed. That's moving at half the speed. Of the cross slide. We'll stop the cross slide. We have our feedback. Let's uh, change directions. Wind this back while we're waiting. Still need to adjust my gibbs. Things will uh, should be uh, 314. So we're out here. We are here. This is D1, 314. So this would be A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Going, going too fast to switch gears. 322. You do not want to exceed 322 RPMs while shifting the directional. Okay, let's go ahead and disengage that. So let's disengage there. I have about a turn and a half before it makes contact with the back of the apron. Tell you what, this went together rather easily this time. I always have a heck of a time getting this mechanism here connected. There's a, a barrel in there and a pin goes through it. And it's just hard to, uh, it's hard, it's hard. Um, so that's it. The uh, Mighty Pratt & Whitney 
is, uh, is back. And I will get the uh, compound installed. And I think tomorrow will be, well, probably later today, we'll be making chips. So, kind of didn't have any real plans, intentions on starting this, but got it done. Um, while you're here, though, I do have a question for you. Let me see if this is the right size rod here. It is not. Um, here's the piece. So, I have this piece here. It turns around. Okay. It goes in here. Now, obviously there's a rod that goes in here, goes in here, goes through that, and then this will trap it, hold it in place, set it, set it, set it a distance on this rod, how far it's traveling or not traveling. Now, I don't know if there's a kind of a threaded rod deal going on out here. This is some kind of depth stop. I guess I'm just too lazy to look at the books. Well, we're going to take that air compressor as a cue to uh, and finish this off. I'll address uh, new subscribers later. Hey, tell a buddy, bring a friend. And thanks for coming along.